good morning good afternoon good evening depending where you are getting me from welcome to our morning devotion in case you are new here just feel most welcome this is the right place to be my name is Delak Mam Domilan Choka and we do our morning devotion every weekday from Monday to Friday between 5 and 6 a.m. East African time and our sharing today is about uh, prayer for help and forgiveness of sins is our sharing and they give us from the book of Psalm chapter 79 verse 8 to 10 and we're going to sing hymn song number 478 but before that let's pray Father in the name of Jesus thank you for the gift of life as we into the morning devotion we ask you to be with us help us and let it have a great impact unto our lives in Jesus name we pray and believe Amen You can sing together 478 sweet hour of prayer. I want to remind each and every one of us that we should be praying for Kenya. Things are not going on well, but we pray that God can take control. Let's sing 478 sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer that calls me from our love care and beats me up. My father strong makes all my wants and wishes known. In seasons of distress and grief, my soul has often found relief and always came that day uh, snare by the return sweet hour of prayer sweet hour of prayer sweet hour of prayer that we Shall my petition bear to he most truth and faithfulness engage the waiting so to bless and since he bids me seek his face believe his word and trust his grace I'll cast on him my every care and wait for the sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, may I thy consolation share till from Mount P. God's love to you, I view my home and take my flight. In my immortal flesh I rise to seize the everlasting prize and shout to our passing through the air farewell. Farewell, sweet hour of prayer. <clears throat> uh, prayer for help and forgiveness of sins is our sharing this morning. And they keep us from the book of Psalm chapter 79 verse 8 to 10. I'm going to read from my New King James Version. The Bible records, Who oh, do not remember former iniquities against us, let your tender mercies come speedily to meet us, for we have been brought very low. Help us, O God, of our salvation for the glory of your name and deliver us and provide atonement for our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nations say, where is their God? Let there be known among the nations in our sight the avenging of the blood of your servants which has been shed. Uh, when I was reading another version, it was saying that forgive us our sins, we are in desperate need. This one is saying, do not remember former iniquities against us. Let your tender masses come speedily to meet us, for we have been brought very low. This is our current situation. 
like now in my country Kenya we need God's intervention as quick as possible because we are in despair we are very we are desperately in need of his help sometimes when you decide I, I even shared this yesterday when you decide that you are just asking for forgiveness it means that you have accepted your sins you have just accepted this for sure I've just sinned against God and the only way out is just to seek for forgiveness sometimes we just remember to pray when we are in trouble in most cases we just like praying when we are in trouble that is when we remember that God exists but if you are okay you don't remember anything about God when you are sinning and you are still living happily you don't feel like there is need to ask for forgiveness maybe because you see that your sins are just perfect you don't need to ask for forgiveness but now when you become desperately in need of help when you have become too low the way this verse is saying that for we have been brought very low meaning that this this is these are people who are living a good life they were enjoying everything but at the moment now they have been put very low they are so in, they are very desperate for help they don't know what to do they are just trying to examine their past is it because of my past sins that is why i'm going through this then god please do not remember my former iniquities you know we have a way of convincing god when we are in trouble anybody who has been ever in a problem we just remember that maybe it's because of what i did the other day maybe god is just yeah you feel like it's because of my past that is why maybe god is just teaching me a lesson and now you decide that i'll humble myself i go back to him i ask him if it's because of my former iniquities he will just have to forgive me because i'm in desperate need for help these are some situations that there are some situations that force us you see our people dying every day we are losing lives people are, we are shedding blood just because of what is happening or maybe you feel like this is happening because of our past this morning i just want to share with the luck mom family and encourage each and every one of us let's make a routine of just seeking help not only when we are in trouble but we just if we recognize that this is whatever we have done is not is against god's wish we just recognize it and accept it and then we seek forgiveness so that our sins will not accumulate because i know there's no sin which is big no sin which is small a sin is a sin but sometimes it is good if you feel like this is where i have gone wrong you just apologize to your god you seek for forgiveness because we just forgive you because your sins had already been paid for through jesus at the cross so so that you don't feel like i'm accumulating sins there is a situation you reach and you feel like i have accumulated a lot of sins and this is what is affecting me if we if we we make a we we do a sin and then we apologize we seek for forgiveness that your heart be, your heart become light and you can't feel like there's something bad you did but Sometimes we continue sinning, sinning, and then we feel like we have accumulated a lot of sins. So when we are seeking forgiveness from God, you don't know exactly what type of sin you are asking for forgiveness. So they accumulate, and then we become so desperate. We become very low that we, we decide, like, now we generalize everything that God, yes, I've sinned, but just forgive me for this. So it's good to make peace with our God. Let's make peace with God that in case of anything, you feel like, whatever you are doing is not good you just seek for forgiveness you get forgiven because god for himself he says if you ask and i know the only sin that cannot be forgiven is that one that you have not asked for forgiveness because how can somebody forgive you if you have not recognized that you have sinned so it's good it's our duty it's our responsibility to make peace with our god so that we can so that we will not become so desperate for help when the time comes and we feel that our sins have been accumulated and now you don't know which one to ask for forgiveness for and which one you have left behind or which one you have forgotten anytime you feel like i have best i have gone against god's wish you can just seek for forgiveness and they will just forgive you 
any help that you need we just provide for you he will just give you the help that you need because you are still his child everybody's uh, god is child because remember jesus died for our sins all of us so the only uh duty we have is to seek for forgiveness of our sins and god is going to help us and protect us so uh, i just want to tell um whoever is watching wherever you're watching from please let's pray for kenya as a country uh, this issue of finance bill it is making people lose lives and it is it has plot confusion we just pray that god intervenes so that there is this uh a verse number 10 psalm 79 10 says what should the nation say where is their god let there be known among the nations in our sight the avenging of the blood of your sh of your servants which has been shed so even you you might be uh, you might have been maybe god is child but what you are facing you are facing challenges that make people who are surrounding you feel like you don't have a god they feel like you don't have god in your life they feel like they ask many questions like where is this god where is her god where is her god why is she facing these challenges you see when you are in trouble everybody's just watching at you feeling like you don't you don't deserve better because you don't trust in god maybe you have been preaching about god and you feel like where is my god this is a way of asking god that please remove some shame from me because people are thinking like i don't have my god so the nations are just watching to our country feeling like do these people have a god where is their god but we pray that god will intervene we pray that God will be there for us. Even you as an individual, you are facing challenges and people feel like you don't have God in your life. I just want to remind you that God is there for you. You only need to go and seek forgiveness from him and he will just fulfill your needs. So I just want to <clears throat> end our morning devotion and thank those people who have tuned in. Let's pray as we finish. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the sharing we have had this morning, Father. We pray that you forgive us our sins. We are very low at the moment. We pray that you intervene in our situations, Father. We pray that you help us, protect us, and guide us all through, Father. We pray for the sick in various homes and hospitals. We pray that you heal them so that they can continue praising your name, Lord. We also pray for the travelers. We pray that you send your traveling masses so that they may reach their destinations well, Father. We also pray for our enemies, brothers and sisters, wherever they are. We pray that you <coughs> remember them in the book of life and forgive them their sins, Father. We remember prisoners. We pray that you give them their freedom once more. Let them get reformed and remember that you are the only God and this light at the end of the tunnel, Father. We pray for our brothers and sisters working in diaspora, Gulf countries. We pray that you protect them till they meet with their families once more, Father. In a special way, we remember widows, widowers, and orphans, wherever they are. We pray that you provide for them their daily needs as you promised to be their father. We also pray for Kenya as a country. We pray that you give the country peace. Let your people get united and avoid shedding of blood because you are our God and you know we know that you will not disappoint us, Father. As the Lakman family, we pray that you guide us. Keep guiding us. The task ahead of us is not easy, but we pray that you keep intervening in each and every situation as we try to make this world a better place for everyone, Father. Whatever we did pray, we pray that you send the Holy Spirit so that he can intercede for us. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. So guys, thank you for tuning in. God bless you. See you tomorrow.